gypsies welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another hot mess get ready with me day i'm not going to say it's i'm filming this on friday um there's a full moon tonight i'm excited about that um and i thought i'd do a get ready with me so without a without a without further ado let me go ahead and get i got everything setting out here i'm going to do just my normal routine that I do every single day. Okay. We're not going to do anything different or complicated. I'm just going to show you guys what I do every day and we're just going to go with it. I am going to do lashes and today I'm going to do a wig. So this is the first time I've ever actually, well, now I think maybe one other time I, I'm going to show y'all the wig that I went like in a store because I got to go pick up my hubby's prescription and I'm going to wear this headband wig. Here it is. And it's almost black. It's like really dark, dark brown. Um, almost black. But I'm going to wear this today. And I just thought that it, it would be a good day for a wig. Because my hair is a hot mess. Absolutely. And yeah. So anyway. First thing. First things first. Um, if you have not subscribed to my channel, but you like me and my content, guys, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. We got the big 40K giveaway coming up very soon. We are winding down, working on the last little bit. Um, so if you uh, want to, you can share this video out or any of my videos and let's get to that 40K faster. Um, I have some of these... Um, Pick up and go. These are the facial cleansing wipes. I don't know who they're by. I got them at Dollar Tree, but here's what the pack look like. I got one wipe left, and I'm just going to, because my face is clean or relatively clean, I'm just going to go over one last little time and just keep this on hand for when I get makeup on my hands and stuff like that because I definitely will. So I hope everybody's having a fabulous day. I had to go through and delete a bunch of stuff on my phone because I had too much stuff on there. And I'm like, this is definitely not going to work. So. I still have a little bit of residue, mascara, and stuff like that on. It def definitely happens. Um, yeah. <laughs> okay, so that's all I'm going to do. I'm not going to go too wild. Too wild. All right, right there. All right, so let me try to dry that a little bit. Yeah, I thought I'd do lashes. Um, I've had several people request that I do some a lash, a lash video. You know, um, and it's such an easy process that I think everybody should know how to do it. You know, it's just such an easy thing. So I'm going to show you guys how I do it with a brand new pair of lashes. I'm going to trim them. And use a lash glue. I'm not going to use magnetic ones today. I'm just going to do lash glue. Okay, so my face is relatively dry. The first thing I do each and every day um, is use this Rejuvalift. And it is Rejuvalift 4D Super Hydrating Serum. Um, the, what I love about this is you put it on. Let's see, I'm going to twist it out like that. And then I just do like usually one squirt. I mean, it doesn't take much. And the first thing I do is, and this is kind of helps to eliminate the, the lines. Like if you have specific space on your face that you have some lines, you know, you're getting older, uh, life lines, stuff like that. Um, this will help kind of minimize those lines. And my biggest area is my forehead. And because I do have some lines up there. Um, so I put this on and then I've got some smile lines or crow's feet, <laughs> laugh lines, whatever you want to call them around my eyes. So I just kind of lightly tap it on and just, um, you're supposed to wait until it dries, which usually I'll kind of help it out a little bit. But this is one of the reasons why I like to have my little wet wipe handy. Okay. And then while that's kind of drying, I'm going to get a couple of the items that I'm going to be using and just lay them out here on the bed. Um, <clears throat> So I try, I try to differ my routine like all the time, like with what I have here. So I may use different foundations every day. I may use like different eyeshadow colors, but there's certain ones that I go to like on a regular basis 
So we are going to go with that. I've been trying to use all of this e.l.f. Uh, primer. It's the Power Grip Primer. It's super sticky. And I've been trying to get, I've been using this every day because I want to get rid of it. I want to finish using it and get it out of my bag here. And then a lot of this stuff is Timu makeup. Um, if you guys are interested in this, I'll leave a link in the description box for the Rejuva Lift. Um, it is good. It's definitely good. I use it every single day and I like it. Um, today, I think I'm going to use um, this. Yeah, I think this is the color I like. This is a full co coverage. It's called M Micilio or Miculo. I don't know. But I like this. It's, it does a really good job at covering really good. So I'm going to use that. Um, which I also will link down below in case you guys are interested. Um, is that all that I'm getting out of here? Okay, so next thing I do is my primer. So this is dry. I can feel it. It's totally dry. Um, so I'm going to use one squirt of this Elf, Elf Power Grip Primer. And I do have a dupe from Timu that I'll be starting on when I get done with this one. I don't see it right offhand. I was going to show you guys. I know it's in here. Yeah, here it is. Uh, so this is the dupe. <laughs> it looks just like it. So anyway, it's not... Uh, it Okay, so if this was 100% sticky, the Timu one would be 90% sticky because it's still sticky. So I just kind of pat this on because it is a sticky, found, or a, a sticky primer. I hear the mill man out there. I hope I have packages. I love getting packages. Am I the only one? I don't think so. Um, I do want to let you guys know I do, I am able to order from Timu again. So I do have two orders on the way. Um, I'm still trying to Christmas shop through Timu, doing a lot of stuff. So yeah, and I'm getting ready to win both Fishland and Farmville or what, what is it? Farmville? What is it? I don't know. I, I've got my little Timu light up mirror here, but it doesn't light up. It's just, I, I, don't, I don't ever charge it. I don't really need for it to light up. Okay, guys. So I got my primer on. So the next thing I do um, is my foundation. And like I said, this is the kind I'm using. This looks a little light, but I don't know. I know I have a different one in here. Let me see. Yeah, let me use this one. This is the same, but it's a little bit darker, and I'm probably, because it's the end of summer, I'm probably a little bit darker than I typically would be, so I just put that on my brush, just like that, and to start out with, I just tap different areas on my face just to kind of get it spread out a little bit, tap it all in there. So we're planning this thing in October. Um, I live about 50 minutes away from a town called Lewisburg. And I love Lewisburg. It's like voted one of the coolest towns in America and all this stuff. It's a very laid back town. And they always have this thing called Taste of Our Town Lewisburg. And we go there. It's always on a Saturday. And you purchase tickets. And there's tons of vendors set up. And you use your tickets to get little samples of their food, which we have always absolutely loved doing that. So we're gonna, I'm planning on doing that this year. My hubby will be able to go because his work schedule is not like 24 seven, like it used to be, not really 24 seven, but almost. Um, so he's gonna be able to go this year. And while we're there, there's a place called, um, Oh my gosh. Something Caverns. Lost, no. Lost World Caverns? Oh my gosh, I can't remember. Anyway, we went there one other time, and you go down this big ramp where you go in the building, and the cavern entrance is in the back of this building, and I've always been very claustrophobic, so I am like, 
like last time we went, you have to kind of, you go down this huge ramp for a long time and I'm already worried about the walk back up. Um, but when you get to the bottom, there's like this big wall and you go, you have to duck under and go under the wall. And I know last time I lost it, I lost my cool because like I said, I am claustrophobic. So is it Lost World Caverns? I think it is. Um, but when I got, went under there and then was in the cave, I had a panic attack. But I talked myself through it. And I'm hoping I won't do that this time. But we'll see. <laughs> we shall, shall see. Um, so I'm planning on doing that the same day since they're both in Lewisburg. So we're all as a family going to go. And I'm excited. We've been wanting to go back to the caverns for a long time. And I'll film some of that for sure because, you know, it'll be a family day and all. Um, so now I'm using Urban Decay. This is eyeshadow primer. I find that if I don't use this, my eyeshadow might crease. But just a little bit. And only if I use a specific kind of eyeshadow. This right here is a little pricey. But I feel like it lasts for a good two years. I don't know. So once I get that on, um, I just use a sponge. I got a specific sponge that I always use. That's not it. This is it. And I just kind of go in and just tap it. Just kind of blend it all over really good and tap it in there. Okay. Next. Um, next is my blush, which I got this from Timu. I like it. Um, there's different blushes in here. It's Carla's Secret Blush. I also have a um, dark, a brown one, like for the contour and stuff like that. Look at that orange, though. Um, but I want to use this today, and I always use this little sucker here for my blush because I really love it. Um, so today I'm going to go in with... <clears throat> we're going to try this color right here on the corner. Okay. So I just basically put that on there, give it a twist and it gets on there really good. And then are you guys close enough? I don't know. I think you are though, right? Okay. So kind of smile so the apples of your cheeks can come up. Okay. And it's always enough for for both cheeks when I do that. Okay. And that may be a little much, but sometimes it is. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of wipe the rest of this off on this little uh, rag, my little wet one, because I don't want it to be too overwhelming. I use this thing a lot. Now I'm just going to blend it. Okay, so it may still look a little bit dark, but I'm going to be using um, powder on it to blend it all in. So next I have this, and I love this so much that I actually ordered me a second one. Um, this is the Grooming V Pen. I don't know. It's from it's from Timu, and I don't I don't really use this one much because I don't I don't know. I guess I could go in like if I have any dark places, it'd be right there. Okay, like that's always my area. I usually don't have much dark circles. I'll just go ahead and go in just because. So that's the concealer. And then this right here is the one I love to use for foundation because it's super easy. So, you know, your apples of your cheeks where you want it to look a little hollow, which you can kind of see it right there. I just go in. Okay, and here, here, here. And on your nose, if you want your nose to look a little bit thinner, you know, it's all an illusion. It's all an illusion. <laughs> so there's that. So what I'm going to do is take, um, where'd it go? I just had it. Oh, this right here, I'm just going to take this in here and just kind of dab at this highlighter and just go under here with it. 
okay and now I have the same kind of little brush that I like to use or not little brush but little sponge that I like to use um, only it's purple for my contour so I'm just gonna blend it in okay My gray is it really coming out there. Okay. I feel like that blush is still a little powerful on there. So, um, I don't really know. We're just going to try to go over it with powder. Um, this is the contour one and a highlighter from Carla Secret or Timu as well. So, done with those. And then now I got this powder here. This is from Timu. It's just a loose powder, and I always use this little sponge tip thingy here. Or not a sponge tip, a face. What is this? I don't know. Powder puff? A powder puff. Um, so let's see here. I'm going to lay that right there. And I'm just going to kind of go in here. Tap it. It lightens it up some. I usually do get it a little dark. I don't know why. You think I'd know by now. Watch out. Don't get it quite so dark. I just kind of tap all over. Get it distributed and then we'll blend it. You know what I'm saying? All right, let me just get it blended a little bit. Don't want no powdery substance lingering. Okay. I feel like I need a little bit more right here. <laughs> okay. That'll do her, Jeezy. All right, there we go. There's that. And then next we go in with a highlighter because yes, we don't want our whole face shiny, but we do want certain areas of our face. Where's my highlighter? Right here. So this is another Timu product, not the brush, but the highlighter that I'm addicted to and I love. Um, I probably should order another one of these because it is down to the middle there because <laughs> I use it all the time and I even use it for eyeshadow too. So I'm just going to go ahead and dab my brush on there and there. There and a little in the middle all the way down. boom it just gives you a nice little glow and we all want that glow right we need that glow girl we need that glow okay so there's that i'm done with this bad boy unless i need that highlighter out of it but i don't know i might not okay and i'm done with this one and so these are my little timu bags that i love um they just hold a lot they here's how they look when they're zipped and then when they're unzipped you got all this look at all that junk in there like but i love it all and this don't even go in there yeah sometimes i actually put accidentally put stuff where it don't go and then the next day i'll be looking everywhere for it but i just made a mental note that my blush thing is in here <laughs> we gotta do that sometimes right okay there's that now i need my brown one which next is my brows so and i think i'm going to use these um lashes today these are pretty and i will trim them down um 
Let me look in here because I have some scissors in here. I just got to locate them. I got a lot of eyebrow pencils in here, which I love. Where's my scissors? Not any other time. They'd be sticking up in my way. You know how that goes. Until I need them. And then they're nowhere to be found. Seriously, though. Where? where where'd y'all go? They probably got put in a different bag because that's how I roll. I'll have to find them. All right. So let's go ahead and do the brows. Now, I've been using... Um, and is it, it's a Dollar Tree, LA Colors even, brow pencil. I'm going to sharpen it just a little bit. And this is a nice dark one. I've got different shades in here. But today, since I'm going to be wearing the um, dark, dark, dark brown hair, it's almost black. I'm telling you guys, I really don't even know. Like, what is y'all's opinion on this? Is this, is this black or dark, dark brown? Like, I feel like it's dark, dark, dark brown. Like, this is a really dark brown. Okay, so I get it pretty sharp, you know, um, and then the first thing I do is outline the outer edge of my lash or my brows. So I try to do it where you guys can see. I just draw a line. I really need to pluck. I try to pluck a little bit every day and stay caught up with it. All right, line on the bottom. Now line on the top. Oh, I need to color my hair again. All right, and then I try to do a nice little straight line right here. Okay, see that? And it's okay if it looks a little dark because we're going to blend that all in when we're done. So then I fill it all in after I get the lines drawn. I just fill it all in. Okay, just like that. Same thing, other side. Like I always say, and a brilliant lady told me this in my comments, your eyebrows are supposed to be sisters, not twins. Because likely you will never get them to look absolutely identical. And if you try, you'll probably drive yourself insane. So, I don't even try anymore. I just do my best on both brows. And, boom, I don't let it bother me. Sisters, not twins. I say that probably every day that I do brows. Because it's brilliant. Whoever told me that is brilliant. Okay. So, there's that. As you can see, they're not identical. Um, this one does have a little sharper corner here that I'll try to duplicate. It's like that. Okay, so the next thing we do is the other end of this brush is a little spoolie. And this is just, you run it through there a few times just to give it a more natural look. If you have any lines, it'll kind of, you know, smooth it out and just kind of blend it, basically. Blend. It just gives it a little bit more of a natural look, I think. All right, there's the brows. Okay, guys, next I do eyeshadow. I turn to this eyeshadow right here so much. Like, I'm always using this eyeshadow. Um, it's the Flesh, and it is phenomenal. This was at Dollar Tree, but it's not a Dollar Tree product. Here's the colors. I absolutely love this. I love this palette. Um, I'm planning on doing a Dollar Tree get ready with me video s soon. I'm trying to move. My knee's starting to, to ache. That knee. Um, I'm trying. Yeah, I'm going. I'm going to be doing that soon. And I'll do do more Dollar Tree products in that one. But I'm going to go ahead and use this one today since I love it. Um, I think I'm going to do like a smoky eye today. Um, so I'm going to be using this right here. This is kind of a dark gray. 
I'm going to be using this right here for a blending powder-ish. And then I'm going to use this silver here for my highlight areas, okay? So, I know I'm not sitting straight now, but this hair, though. Okay, so I'm just going to use my little sponge tip because I'm a sponge girl. I, I don't really use brushes because I'm just, I just don't like them. I don't know. I will forever be a sponge tip girl. I'm pretty sure of it. Um, so we're going to take this and we are just going to dive into that gray color. And I'm trying to figure out which way I want to fix them today to, to fix my, I mean, because I do it two different ways. You've probably seen me do the other one so many times. I'm going to go ahead and do the, the one that I just do every now and then today. Okay. So basically what I'm going to do is put this shadow all over the bottom lid. Now, if I were doing it the other way, I would not put it up close to the corner like that. I would not put it there. I would leave that area kind of blank. Um, but I'm going to do an, a, a little bit above the crease line is how I like to do it. And this look is good for like a, you know, like a smoky eye look. Okay. See how I got it? Now, I will be blending that in a little bit more, you know, getting it up there. And just making those lines not quite so harsh. Just a more blended outline like that, okay? This gives me like 60s vibes, I feel like. So basically, I'm going to do a little bit more shadow. And I'm going to go under my eye as well. And I just want a nice, under my bottom lashes, a nice kind of smoky uh, look. Okay, see that? So, I'm just going to kind of blend it out a little bit. Okay. Boom. Do that. Both eyes. I look like a, woof. I don't know. Like, I should be working at the circus or something. I look like I have a black eye, right? Anyway. So, just going to go in. Guys, I just want to say, like, sometimes those scammers will get on there and and post to you guys' comments and act like it's me and tell you to contact me. Um, I, I don't do that. And I try to catch them. And if you ever see them, please report. Please report because they are just dirty, low down, no goods, in my opinion. They're just, their whole job, can you imagine that being your job? Your whole job in life is trying to scam somebody out of their money. You know, that's your job. Why not just get a regular job and make your own money? You know, I just, I will never understand that. Spend your whole life trying to scam poor people, poor unsuspecting people out of their money so beware on my account okay i really do try to catch them um and when i catch them i block them but they are relentless on creating new accounts and stuff like that so it's really hard to keep them out for good um, but anyway there's that and i'm just going to take this in case i have any fallout underneath and just this is my one i like it because of the way it's angled it's just easy to get in there and get anything underneath, okay? So then I flip my brush over to this side, and I'm going to go in with that middle color I showed y'all. Um, and we're going to try to blend this out up to the right here in the inner corner and all the way around to right here, okay? Now I'm going to go in again because get some more product because I want it to be blended good. I really do need to pluck. That aggravates me. Um, but next time. I'll pluck tomorrow. I'm going to tell you. Um, being outside in natural sunlight to pluck is probably the best thing ever. Okay. So I did basically just want to blend it in. Okay. So the lines are not as harsh. And they're still going to be pretty harsh because this is a smoky eye look, um, but not quite 
as harsh. Okay. See how they're not quite as harsh as this side. I know it looks a little radical right now, but I promise it's going to look better. So we're going to do the same thing over here. Need some more on here. I can't say I don't have anything on my lips. It's soul crushing. <laughs> Which is why I usually do my lips before I even get my makeup finished. Okay, both blended out, but still a little radical. Like, this is a definitely um, a darker makeup look, but a lot of people like that smoky eye. There's one color in here I've never used. Look at that right there. That's kind of pretty, too. I'll have to try that next time. Okay, so now, now we're going to use that silver I showed you guys. I'm just going to flip my brush completely over, and this is where a little creativity comes in, Okay. So, we are going to go in the very center, right here. See that? All the way up, okay? And I'm not done, but I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. Very center, all the way up, okay? See that? Still not done. It just gives it a... Um, a look like it's, I don't know, like a 3D type of look. And then you just kind of blend it out to where it looks light just in the center. See that? Blend it out on both sides. Like that and like that. It also lightens up that dark just a little bit. Okay. Just like that. Okay. We're done with eyeshadow. Putting it up. Till next time, gal. Taking this brush again. Just in case we have any fallout. I hate fallout. And that's why I don't like to use brushes. Because I feel like they are extra bad for fallout. Powder that lays on your cheeks. And you got to wipe it off. And you got like stuff on your cheeks. Okay, so now we're going to go in. We're not done. We're going to go in with the under eye eyeliner. I want this to look like a dark, smoky eye, 80s maybe even. Uh, and I have this right here. This is the Essence Kajal Pencil. I got this from Ulta, I think. Um, it's a really good bottom liner. Um, it doesn't smear or anything like that unless you want to smear it and then it'll smear. Um, but basically, I use my pinky to pull down my... Wow, my, my nails really match, don't they? Pinky, pull down, and then you have that waterline right there. You're just going to go over that whole waterline. Don't poke your eye. Don't be afraid. Practice makes perfect. Okay, just like that. Same thing over here. Boom. There's that. Now we're going to do liquid eyeliner on the top, and we're going to give us a wing. Okay, so I have, what do I do with it? I have this one. This was from Timu. It's kind of sparkly and pretty. It kind of goes with the flow today. Um, but the eyeliner is not sparkly. It's just a nice, good tip for doing a wing. And I have this way that I do my wings. Um, so I start from the center and I make a line all the way up. See that? And I do the same thing on the other side. And you can make these as long or as short as you want them, okay? Okay, so then I start at the tip of that line and watch. Go to the center of your eye, just like that, okay? Same thing on the other side. Center of the eye, okay, see? Then you go from the inner corner, you connect that line. Because you want it thinner on the inner corner and bigger on the outer outer corner. Okay? And once you connect that line, fill it in 
all the way down to your lashes really good. Just fill it in. See that? Okay, same thing over here. So I'm just going to do my inner, just to meet up to that middle one, just like that, and then fill it all in. And you know what? Honestly, I feel like wings like this are sort of like eyebrows. Like I never get them identical. So they could be sisters, not twins as well. If you make try, keep trying to make them identical, you'll drive yourself in, insane in cray cray. And they will, you, you'll end up with a super, super dark, super big line uh, or wing that you're thinking to yourself, crap, you know, I've done overdone it. But I'm going to stop there. Okay, so do you see how my eyelashes, I mean, they're not the best eyelashes in the world, okay? Um, but you see how they look kind of white and powdery? They definitely have eyeshadow on them. So what I want to do is get rid of that. And by getting rid of that, it's going to make the, the fake lashes look better on. So basically, I go over it with the thin coat of mascara just to get rid of that dark. Now, sometimes I don't wear lashes and I'll double up, you know, three coats of mascara trying to duplicate a, a fake lash, which can never be done, honestly. Uh, I, no matter what, I, I keep saying I'm going to get me some Thrive mascara because that is the best I've ever used, but I just haven't done it yet. Um, but before I do that, I'm going to go ahead and get some lipstick on because I can't stand this look anymore, okay? We're going to go in with my favorite. This is called Snuggle Sesh. Let me just say, this is good stuff. This is NYX Smooth Whip, the color Snuggle Sesh, and I love this. Um, it stays on really good. It feels like butter on, and the color is really good. So, we're going to go in with that. But first, we're going to line our lips. So, I have this NYX Professional Makeup Suede Matte Lip Liner in the color Los Angeles. And I feel like that always pairs well with this because you want your um, lip liner to be just a little bit darker than your regular lipstick that you're going to be wearing. So it's nice and pretty sharp. So I'm just going to go with the flow. Now, I've always said if you don't like your lips or if you want to get lip injections, I would never do it, honestly, because I'm scared. I, I would be scared that my lips would turn out looking really stupid. Um, but I've always wanted fuller lips. But you can do that. You can give yourself fuller lips. Look at my lips. I don't have full lips, okay? But I use a little technique with this lip liner, and that makes me look like I have fuller lips than I do, okay? Uh, give yourself a pout. That's my motto for doing your lips. Give yourself a pout. Um, so basically, the bottom lip, underneath the, your, your lip line, you're going to go a little bit below that right in the middle, okay? So here we go. That's going to give the illusion that your bottom lip actually is big enough to have a shadow. You see that? So once you go underneath like that, and then you're just going to follow your regular lip line to the corners, okay? Just like that. Okay, so we have the illusion of a shadow, and then your top. Right in the middle, your cupid's bow, which is this little thing here, I always go bigger than the bow. Okay, so here we go. First off, we're going to do an X. Okay. 
right above, see the X? Right above the natural lip line, okay? We're gonna make, make it look a little bit bigger than it is. And now the first halfway, I'm sticking outside that natural line, right outside. And then I'll taper down to the natural, to the regular line, okay? Honestly, sometimes I feel like getting your top lips the same is a little like tw sisters, not twins as well. So there's that. Now I'm just going to go in with my lipstick. <clears throat> and fill it all in. Okay, it's the illusion that I have a bigger pout than I actually do. Okay, there's the lipstick. I love this color. Okay, next we're going to go in with some mascara. I always kind of veer back to this telescopic lift from L'Oreal Paris, and I think I just like it because it went viral on TikTok, um, which made me buy it, so I'm like, if I bought it, I'm going to use it, um, but here's what the brush looks like, you turn it sideways, yeah, so I'm just going to do one coat on the top just to get rid of of that shadow that has settled on my lashes so they look black instead of white. Okay, see, now they don't look white like this side. So I'm gonna go ahead and go in on this side, get rid of that. And there is a thing um, that you can do also. It's called tight lining. And that I'll show you guys. That is just taking your pencil. You know how I took it on my waterline for my um, bottom lashes. You can do the same thing. Where's my pencil? Oh, here it is. Okay, so you can do the same thing under under here. Okay, so basically. Don't poke your eye. Like that. I don't know if you can even see a difference, but it's best if you don't look at it and just go by feel. Okay. There's that. Next, let me do my bottom lashes and then we're going to do the falsies. If I can find my scissors. I'm not going to go crazy on my bottom ones. I just like to get a little, because they're it's already dark under there. I just like to get a little bit of product on there. Kind of separate those lashes. So you can see I actually do have lashes on there. Okay? But I don't go crazy on it. All right. So there's that. Now, let me see what I've done with my scissors. Let me... Hold on, let me look in here. I might have stuck them in here. And then... I don't know why. I don't know why. 
but I, had, I do have something in here I can use, which I've used these before. This is the eyebrow trimmers, which I love. Um, maybe I know I've showed you guys how to use these before, uh, if you don't know, but it's a little comb on some scissors and you just kind of comb through your eyebrows and it just helps keep them under control, but it don't cut them off. You know, it just trims them up. Um, so I can still use this as scissors to trim up my little lashes. So we're going to do that. Um, and this is the lash glue I have. I really need some more. This is like on its last leg. The Kiss Strip Lash Adhesive. It has aloe in it. It is clear, latex-free, formaldehyde-free. Hey, right? Um, so, yeah, I need to get me some more. But here's the lashes. These are from Dollar Tree. It is Ioni Lashes. And th this one is in the High T is the name of these. So, basically, open them up. And I'm going to throw the box away because I don't need it after today. I have a little eyelash box I've been using. So basically, I take one out. Okay. Take one out. And I'm going to trim, not the end over here, but the inner corner. So this is going to be this lash over here. So I'm going to trim the inside of it just a little bit. Now, I kind of have been doing this a while. So I know how much needs to come off of this. Um, so basically, I'll hold it up here and show you guys okay that can y'all see how much i got off let me take it off and show y'all so these are a, a little on the long side i never used to trim them before but now i do because you learn things no matter how, how old you get you're constantly in a learning state okay so now i have this lash which is usually the perfect size um so i'm going to go ahead and start going over it and I'm starting to work up a hot flash, which is really good for the makeup. So this is just, you just put it on your lash line there. Don't put too much or too little, okay? It's got to be the right amount. If you put too much, it's never going to dry. If you put too little, it's never going to stick. And you don't want to put them on your eye until they are mostly dry, okay? So... So you can kind of see, because it's kind of a, a color that kind of stands out until it's dry. So basically, I'm going to blow it a little bit. And I'm starting to get really hot. So I need my fan on, honestly. I feel like King Kong every time I do this. I'm going to pause this because I got to get my fan on. All right, that fan is loud and obnoxious, so hopefully it won't bother you. So see this? Well, it don't look too much lighter, but it is lighter. So it's almost dry. It's tacky, which is what we want. So basically what I do is I put my fingers right in the middle of the lash like that, and I go right in the middle of my eye, closest to the lash line as you can get it. I'll try to do it on here. So right in the middle of my eye, just like that okay down to that lash line then you just push this side down you push this side down and let me just say a little tip hold this side down for a minute because any if any of the sides come up it's going to be that inside right there okay and and then also you know hold the end down just to make sure it's all really good close to the lash line like that okay and then once you get it on, a lot of times I'll do this. I'll kind of go back in. Hold on. What is my liner? Constantly losing something. I'll just go in with this liner. This is another kind of liner. I'll just kind of go back in. I can't do it right there. And just kind of go over. I'll kind of press down with this thing. And just kind of you know, go over a little bit. So it stays down good. Okay, so let's do the last one and then I'm gonna put this wig on and my clothes and I'll show you the final product. Okay, so I have this. I'm gonna go ahead and trim this. Girls, what did I do with my scissors? I'm constantly losing something, ain't I? Seriously though. I am 
Good lands. Okay. Shoot. Am I sitting? All right. Let me pause to find my scissors. I found them. I was on them. Okay. So here it is. We're going to do the inner corner, which is this corner. Basically, I'm going to go in just like I did last time. And like I said, these work as scissors. So it's great. Same, same amount of lash I cut off. Put that in the trash and then i'm gonna put them scissors there okay so i have my lash let's go ahead and put that glue on there i think i'm gonna use a wig cap today i haven't used one really except for a um a little not really a wig cap but it's more like a wig headband but i want to use a wig cap because i've been having to pin up my um little braids because i usually do my hair in two braids and then pin them up but those clothes or those um hair pins bobby pins really get in the way and i feel like they just don't let my wig go on correctly so i'm going to try to use the flat kind of clips and then put a headband on over top of that so i'm hoping that works a little better Right in the middle okay right in the middle boom hold it one edge down two edges down hold this one hold it make sure it is good and on there i always have to look closely here because i could have got it a little closer to my natural lash line which I would have if I hadn't been looking at the camera, but I can still, I can still work with that. Okay. So there we go. Oh, wait a minute. There's something up. Yeah. I just feel like I need a little bit more liner. So I'm going to get my liner back out. This one I felt like was half empty. I don't know. Let me, let me do it. I guess, I guess it's not. Okay, so I'm just going to go in over this side here, darken that back up. You know, sometimes you got to play around with it. To get it like you, like you want it. Okay, I believe that's going to do her. Okay, guys, so there it is. Makeup, my favorite lipstick, lashes eyebrows a little bit too dark on the blush but that's okay it is what it is and another reason to have these little things throughout the makeup process <laughs> okay i'm gonna do one more little thing this is because it's something i like to do on occasion i don't do it all the time but occasionally i like to put a stamp on my face i like to use the stars okay i do it on the back of my hand just to see if it's ready to go and i'm just going to use one today right here boom okay now i have to look in my mirror just to make sure it's filled in good and it's not i have two issues number one issue is i got a little speck do you see that little speck right there on the outside i'm gonna take it off right now with this wet thing just barely touch it it comes off uh oh i done smeared it this is probably not the best one to use, but I'm out. I gotta find me some more. I gotta find me more. All right. That's good enough. Okay. So, one more issue is the inside is not. You see that little white dot? We don't want a white dot. We want to fill it in. Okay. Boom. There we go. Okay, guys, I'm going to get in here, get this wig on, get dressed. I'll be back to show y'all the wig. Oh, and the contacts. I'll put some color contacts in today. Not sure which ones they'll be, but we shall see. I've got to put all this junk up anyway. So, probably a blue or something. I don't know. A green would probably look good. Let's see what I can find. 
and get all of my makeup put up for the day. Okay, I'll be back. Okay, guys, here it is. Uh, definitely dark. Um, definitely, I don't know, I really feel like it is black. I'm not sure, but I feel like it's black. I don't know. Um, so, yeah, I've got this necklace on from Let's In Style, which I love. And then I'm going to pair it up with these earrings, which I love. I have these in silver and gold, and they're awesome. They are awesome. So I feel like this earring will probably get stuck in my hair throughout the day. Let me know what y'all think about this wig. I've got my On a Dark Desert Highway shirt on. Cool wind in the air. Warm smell. I always thought it said of eucalyptus, which I don't know what that is. But then I'm like, does it say eucalyptus? Eucalyptus? Warm smell of eucalyptus. Eucalyptus? I don't know. I should just look up the words. You'd be surprised. You think you know a song, you look up the words, and like, oh, <laughs> I didn't know that at all. So anyway, with this wig, I feel like there's a lot of possibilities to do with it. Um, I could put me on one of my... Um, headbands that I got from Timu, you know, for the headband wigs, but I thought I would just leave it black because I don't want to go too overboard, um, but I feel like with this wig, you could part it down the back, you know, and do like low ponytails like that, you know, I don't know, maybe a low braid. It's really hard for you guys to see it because it's so dark against the, the um, thing there. So anyway, let me know what y'all's opinion are, is, what y'all's opinions are, and that way I'll know, right? Um, I do love the one that I have that's like a ginger, ginger red color the best, and then I, ow, and then I have one that is, oh, sorry, I have one that is like a, a brown, it's just like a regular brown, which you guys said that looked pretty natural, um, but this one I definitely don't feel like looks natural, um, I don't know. I did put some light green contacts in. So I'm looking like a witchy woman today. Okay. So I've got to go do some errands and I'm going to wear it in. I don't know. I'm going to be feeling very self-conscious because it is a little, I don't know. To me, I guess I think it looks fake because I know it's fake. But like, like if you were just looking at it, would you say, oh, that's a wig? Like, I don't feel like it's too shiny to where somebody would say, oh, that's a wig, but I don't know. Is it back enough? Is it? I don't know. Anyway, guys, this is it. This is it. Thank y'all for watching. If you have any questions, let me know. Um, I will put this necklace down below if you're interested, because last time I wore this, you would not believe the comments I had of people interested in this necklace, um, and the earrings are Timo, actually, so, you know. Um, anyway, guys, thank y'all for watching, and... I guess until next time. Bye.